Now we take a look at the baby monitor on the right hand side. This is a 5 inch HD screen. Underneath on the right hand side you'll see where the microphone is. On the right hand side of the screen you can see the buttons to make adjustments to the monitor and change settings within the camera. On the back you'll see the speaker which will play out sound coming from the camera. On the top you can flip out an antenna and you can have up to a thousand feet in range between the monitor and the camera. You can pull out this little bracket which will act as a stand to stand your monitor up for you to place this on a flat surface. And on the top of the monitor you have the power on and off slash sleep mode button. Now we're going to pull out the camera. This camera will display a 720p resolution. It can pan 310 degrees and 50 degrees tilt. This is great for adjusting the camera if your baby moves. With also the option to zoom in once or twice to get close up of your baby. At the back of the camera you have the antenna and this is the temperature sensor. This will display the temperature of the room on your monitor. The microphone is at the very bottom of the camera. The lens is in the middle and a light sensor at the top. And on the back you have the speaker. You have a USB type C port for charging and a pair button. But it's great that they connect automatically. And on the bottom you have a quarter inch thread to mount to another bracket. Last thing to pull out the box is the power cables and the three pin plugs to go with them. This has a 5 volt 2 amp. This plug we use for the monitor which has a USB port on the bottom. First we have a 1 meter cable which is a USB and USB type C cable which we'll most likely use for charging the baby monitor. We also have the same cable but this one is 3 meters long with a USB to USB C type ends. So with the longer cable you'll most likely use this for the camera give you that extra reach to place the camera where you need to. Also comes with another 3 pin plug with a USB port on the back. This is the 5 volt 1 amp which you'll use for the camera as you can see the amps paired here. Now I remove the film off the front of the monitor. Now I'm going to turn the camera on and also turn the monitor on and see if they connect. So straight away from turning on the monitor and the camera they connected straight away without having to do any pairing. So you can turn them on and you're good to go straight out of the box. Using the arrows left and right you can pan the camera and the up and down arrows you can tilt the camera. The monitor has a 4000 milliamp battery which can last up to a maximum of 8 hours off one charge. And it says to keep the camera at least 3 feet away from the crib or baby. This is so they can't grab the camera or cable. Now we've got the camera set up in my son's room. We're just going to go through the audio test. Checking the sound coming out of the monitor and the camera. I'm going to hold down the microphone button while speaking into the monitor. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Testing, testing. Now I'm going to use the camera to track my son for when he goes to bed. And as he goes out of view in the camera, I can move the camera to follow to see where he went. A sound alert will come up when the camera detects sound in the room. When the monitor is in sleep mode, as in a black screen, it will then light up the screen and show you what the camera can see when it detects sound or motion. Here I'm able to pan and tilt and follow my son as he goes out of view. As this room is dark, it records in black and white. And when the room is bright enough, you'll see it record in colour. At the bottom of the screen you'll see the date and time but I haven't adjusted those yet. That can be done in the settings which we'll look at in the moment. And if you press the OK button you can zoom in one times or press the OK button again it will zoom in twice. Press the OK button again it will zoom back out. On the top left you can see the signal. You can also pair up to four cameras but here you just have one. Then you have the volume indicator. The baby's head will go red when it hears sound. The stick man will go red when it sees motion detection. You'll see a magnifying glass when the camera is zoomed in. Then you'll see the temperature in Fahrenheit, but you can change this to Celsius in the settings. You'll also see the time along the top bar and the monitor battery life. Press the top right button to get to the settings. Press OK again to go onto that option. Now we're going to go through the lullaby sounds and adjust the volume.
go back up to the play to stop. Always press the menu button to go back. Up and down arrows to go through the menu. There's the voice detection, the temperature settings, feed in timer, monitor sleep mode, motion detection, and the three dots at the bottom for system settings. Here you have the date and time, pairing mode, frequency and Wi-Fi, alert volume, change the language, default, firmware update if needed, and image settings. Here you can flip the image if needed. Hold down the button to turn off the monitor. And this does not connect to your Wi-Fi router for remote access, so just remember that. Thanks for watching. I'll leave links and information in the description below. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you on the next one.